In your home state <clears throat> of South Carolina, we're both Southerners, uh, we have uh, about 430,000 people right now mm -hmm. in South Carolina don't have insurance a week from today. They're going to be able to sign up and get insurance. Do you think they think this sucks? I think the people who had a full-time job who are now working 29 hours thinks it sucks. I think a lot of the employers out there says I, who say I can't get there from here really believes it's not good for their business. At the end of the day, people are voting with their feet. Well, I, but, but, come on. I want to make this as human as possible. There's some mother in your state, mm -hmm. maybe she's got cancer, pre-existing condition, been turned down for insurance. A week from today, she can go onto a website, healthcare.org, and sign up, get on the road to having insurance. <clears throat> can you tell her you think that that sucks? Do you think she thinks no, it sucks? No, I think that's a good, I think there's several things in the bill I would adopt. One, you can't be denied insurance because you've been sick before. Uh, children can stay on their parents' plan. Th these things make sense. The structure of the bill is so expensive to comply with that people in business, where that mother may be working, you know, in a, the service industry, she could very well go from 40 to 29 hours because her employer can't afford it. You don't have to pick and choose between her being a full-time employee and uh, being protected for not being denied for pre-existing illnesses. Well, when you look at the actual numbers, uh, job growth is continuing. 91% of all the jobs that are being created are full-time jobs. I don't understand. Now, if you're concerned about jobs, in your own state, the uh, hospital association got together and they said in a report that if you fully implemented Obamacare in your home state, you'd get 44,000 jobs. Why don't you want those 44,000 jobs? You're a champion for jobs. You fought for 2,000 jobs from Boeing. Why are you flushing 44,000 jobs down the toilet in South Carolina? I never thought I'd live to hear myself say this. Listen to the unions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's it. All, all I can tell you is that this thing is stinking up the place in terms of what people thought they were getting. At the end of the day, Medicare and Medicaid by 2042, these two government programs that we're talking about, are going to take more money to run than we collect in taxes today. Are you, so, are you satisfied I, I'm with, saying the, that, with the system that we have right now? Right <clears throat> now no, I'm not. We, right and now I, we have big private I'm going to challenge companies. Bernie to see if we can agree on something. Okay. If you make over $250,000 a year in retirement and you're on Medicare, you get $108 a month subsidy from the federal government. I'm willing to tell people that make $250,000 a year, you shouldn't get a penny from the federal government.